Hi guys, this is Pestil and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering all the caches for customs. Now, there might be some that haven't been discovered yet as uh, some of the ones on the other maps we've been able to find extra from what's been documented. But hopefully, this will cover the majority for now. And if you guys find more, feel free to chuck images in the uh, comments below. After that, I'm going to be showing some of the loot that you can pick, get from these caches. And what I would say would be the most successful, say, loot run that you can do with the caches on custom. But without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so we're going to start near the back of the middle extraction on the boiler side. And then we're going to go anti-clockwise around the map and go from there. So the first one is located down in this little low ground. There's a, uh, a pole of bins that you can see. And just to the right-hand side or at the back of it, um, you can see there's the first of the caches. The next one here, it's located behind Factory 7. That's the one with the factory key spawn. And uh, you go towards these pipes. It's kind of towards, towards the back extract of boiler. Uh, and underneath the two pipes, you'll see it. It's right there. Easy to go. Done. Now, the next one is located in the very back corner from the final extract on boiler side. Uh, the easiest way to, to find it is kind of just go from the corner and then walk back towards the main road. And there's be like, it's like a pile of woods, oh, wood twigs and all that. Um, and you just kind of stumble over it. So it's it's a little bit in the open, but yeah, it's a little bit hard to see because of the grass being there. Now, the next one's really easy to find. Going from the previous one in the back corner, uh, you run straight down the road on the right-hand side, and it's situated right in the corner. It's really easy to find this one just behind the tree. Now, from there, you want to go outside and uh, just go to, to the right, turn left, and then hug this wall. You go about halfway down, and it's located about halfway down kind of past the tree uh, and you'll see that it's just like another one of those bush ones and right in the middle of the bush you'll find it now this one is located right in the back corner of the boiler side down past checkpoint as you came out that hole where the checkpoint was and followed the wall down to get to the other one instead of following the wall down you would have gone straight ahead and then when you get to the very end wall you'll see that there's a blue dumpster and right next to the blue dumpster is the uh, cache hidden there now this one's a little bit more tricky to find so reference that little shack and uh, power line pole on top of that hill you want to come down the road track until you get to these rocks once you get to these rocks go past the first tree up to the second tree and it's loaded just uh, located just in between those two trees uh, it, it can be a little bit hard to find but once you know where it is you'll find it every time now this one's fairly straightforward uh, from the hill with the pylon on top of it the power pole um, there is the trailer that has like weapons points that might have a weapon crate in there um, you need to go past that trailer behind the blue fence, and then on the other side of that blue fence, the cache will just be located, uh, just like wedged underneath it almost. Now, from the northern wall of the map, uh, the reference pretty much where you spawn on that like hill with, near that power pole, if you were to hug that wall all the way down, uh, you get to like, there's like a corner where there's some fence, and just before that corner, there's a big bush, and it's in, hidden inside that bush. This one's a little bit more difficult to find, but if you know where it is, once you like, once you figure out where it is, you'll be able to find it every time. Now, with this one, it's uh, pretty much, well, there's a spawn at this power pole. So, past the power pole, it's, this is like right up against the northern side of the map on the uh, construct, sorry, the boiler side end, uh, underneath the metal fence. You can't physically get over there, but you can loot through the fence. Uh, this one's there. Now, this one is really straightforward. New gas is uh, right on the other side of this concrete wall. Where the concrete wall meets the metal fence that you can normally jump over, just before the uh, the metal fence, it's sticking out really easily. This one's pretty easy to find, and you'll find this one. This one's another really easy one to find. So as you come out of the back of New Gas, uh, there's the bus. I was just checking for the Goshen key here. Uh, from the bus, go to the other side of it. You'll have the, the metal uh, pipes. You jump onto the other side of the pipe, and just inside the bush, you'll find the cage located right here. All right, so with the train tracks, the overlock, overlook new gas down on the construction side there's a big pole uh, between the pole and the concrete wall you'll find this cache so from the bus depot you want to follow the metal pole uh, or the pipe and you'll find the big bunch of tires when you get to the big bunch of tires the one that's underneath the actual pipe itself there's a cache located inside the actual tire so from the back of bus depot you want to head kind of up towards the hill and as you get up the hill, you'll find there is a big bush, I guess is the best way of explaining it. And just before the big bush, you'll see those logs laying on the ground, and that's where you'll find the next cache. Now, this one is extremely easy to find. From the back of Bus Depot on the dorm side, you'll find the big 
blue shipping container and it's simply just located inside the shipping container at the back. Now down at the customs end near the water, there is uh, two more to go. The first one is located underneath the pipes. Uh, the best way to explain it is the, the big pipes that go down. You wanna go across to the, the furthest one on the edge of the map and then from there, it'll be located underneath the pipes. Now from there, the one you just found, you head back to the other set of pipes and there is a big bush. Inside that bush is the final one. Now, some of these can be quite annoying to find, but once you do find them, it does become a lot easier. And there are many ways that you can use these to your advantage. What I'm gonna go on with now is I'm gonna actually just have all the loots from this run's uh, caches be rolling. And then I'm gonna explain some stuff that you can do to be more successful in looting these caches and actually make some pretty good profit from them. So let's talk about the loot now. So there's two different sizes of caches. There's the four by three size caches, and then there's the four by four size. I've pretty much found every type of item in the game in these. So ammunition, barter trade items, guns. Uh, and the best thing about guns right now is if there is a gun anywhere in the map and you loot it, it will have ammunition in it. So I'm not saying hatchling or you know running around with just a hatchet and a backpack or something like that is the best way of doing it. But um, you could easily just go in with a backpack and a pistol and you could gear up from these containers. Now, it depends on how you want to you want to play the game, really. But the best thing about caches also is they're generally put in areas that there's not much loot. I really like the idea because it's a good excuse for Battle State games to put items in, in areas that aren't normally, I don't know, looting areas. So, for example, all that back side of the hill where there's like four or five caches... That's sweet. That's a really good good idea because now there's actually some reason to go over there and explore for those caches and get those items. And you'll see this in other maps. There's certain areas where it's a bit quieter. There's not really much going on there. There's no real places to loot. But Battlestate Games has gone, hey, we can just chuck some some caches over there and it makes it actually worthwhile going over there. Now, I'm not, obviously not going to explain all this in future videos because we'll be covering it here, but it's just a really nice thing to be able to, you know, go and loot in these different areas or say you've got an extra space and to be honest if you go in say a five-man group to customs there's not really that many spots in customs you can loot uh, that would fill a five-man group and if you're going into five-man in customs you're not really going to lose many people because you've got a five-man on a map that holds what 12 people so you're pretty much half the map yourselves so anyway so it's, it's just a really good way of spreading out the loot and yeah being able to access other things so what I'm going to go on with here is what I would say would be a loot run for doing ca the caches on customs. Do I think this is a valid way of making money? Probably not. But if you're, you know, I don't know, watching a movie and you feel like just chucking on a pistol and a backpack and running around and looting caches, it's, it's a way you can do it. So uh, let's crack into that. The first up, this was made by Mixu. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's his Reddit name or just... You know, he created and put it on the Escape for Taco website. This has been the map that's been going around. Uh, there are other, other maps for other ones, and be sure to go uh, check them out via the link below. And full credit goes out to this guy. This is a really awesome map for this, um, for the customs, really. And so I'll just explain how I would do a loot run for caches if you wanted to do it. Uh, personally, this is all the ones I would pay attention to. There are five that you're missing out on. So out of the 18, you're only missing five. So you're getting 13 out of the 18, but there is almost zero threat going into this one. So if you spawn on the boiler side being this side down here, I would literally just run straight down to this back corner and I'd start in the corner, go up and then keep running around. Uh, from this whole area, the only risk you've got is any players that spawn out there, but they're mostly gonna move in to the main, main drag and go for new gas and all that. So if you're hugging the outside wall, you don't really run into any of these people. Um, then you come into obviously near new gas, grab that. You're not going out, out into the open overly much. He's trying to stay as hidden as possible. And you could do this really quickly. And you could even do this at nighttime and have very little threat from even scavs. Once you get to the end of the run, I would just, you know, probably go straight through the bushes uh, out and towards the uh, smuggler's boat and then probably go junk bridge out of there. Um, if you're starting on the... Uh, custom side, I would literally just do it in reverse. So I'd, I'd just start sprinting straight away, all the way across, go over the hill, uh, go between dorms and bus. And then once you get into that shipping container, you're just doing it in reverse. 
and then you go straight up. And if you're going in, by the time you actually get over here, most of the people that have spawned on this edge would have already moved in. So you, you're pretty much safe. Like obviously customs is a very like choke point orientated map. And that's why they, they expanded out so far to the sides as well now. And there is this kind of like dead space out here. And that's why it's kind of cool that these caches are out here, giving more reason to go out there. So yeah, you could just start looting it in, go up to the top and then come down and then you're at the extract when you finish. I think it's a really nice little loot run. If you just were like watching a movie, chuck a backpack on with the, and take a pistol, and you can go loot some guns and some, yeah, some, some barter trade items. I found, I found some pretty awesome stuff in there to be honest. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week, so go down the link below, give me a follow there. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube at the moment. Uh, we're powering through it. I'm trying to get to there by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free to smack that button. It doesn't cost you a cent. Uh, if you ever have any type of questions, guys, you can hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. I'm actually interested to let me know if you do, guys do cache runs too and if it's worthwhile. Um, I haven't done... I, if I run password, I loot one but I don't really go on specific case runs. So I'm interested if feedback if it actually is any good. So guys, I'm going to finish this one up here. So lastly, I'll see you next time. I'm the scat man.